Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats as today's St. Patrick's Day show by Citizens of Song is about to begin. Akarja August Fulcher Quig or Gyokurum Nave Podrick. A new Balamid Lakela, Er Fud on Down, Kun Era Akelora. Thank you so much to the beautiful Galway Traditional Orchestra and Symphonic Waves for that really uplifting and inspiring start to our St. Patrick's Day concert. My name is Rebecca Winkworth. I'm the founder of Citizens of Song. And today, everybody, we're going to travel together to our beloved Emerald Isle of Ireland. This week, this St. Patrick's week, the land of a thousand welcomes, welcomes us. All of us, whether Irish by birth, by descent, or simply by connection or interest. To celebrate Ireland and our Irish heritage. After all, Irish heritage is by nature global. A tiny island nation on the edge of Europe with a huge and exceptional impact across the world. Especially, we celebrate every year at St. Patrick's Day, this impact where we see the world turning green with thousands of events in hundreds of cities around the world. 
Of course, this year it is a little bit different. We won't be gathering physically. However, we have a really nice opportunity to gather in a more intimate setting, a virtual setting where we actually travel from our own homes to the homes of our very talented lineup in Ireland. And this coming together, sharing things is so central to what we do in Citizens of Song. We believe that even though we might be separated by geographic borders or even oceans or even ideologies for that matter, we all share the common ground and shared language of music. And today we are going on a journey to discover all about Ireland and Irish music. For those of you who have been with us before, it's so nice to see you here again. Please let us know in the comments where you're tuning in from. And to those of you who are here for your first Citizens of Song experience, hello, nice to meet you. How are you all doing? Thank you for coming and please let us know where you are in the world today. As some of you know, we do leave these concerts open. There's no paywall. We want everybody to be able to enjoy it. However, we do rely on your kind generosity. Please donate, please support us today with the price of a cinema ticket, a theater ticket, or even a cup of coffee. All of our acts and our technical team do need to be paid. It is their job and especially this performing arts industry has been so heavily affected throughout the pandemic. So please do dig deep generously into your pockets by clicking on our GoFundMe link, or you can open the camera on your phone or your iPod here, your iPad, my apologies, here below me in either um, Spanish or English. We hope you can all understand. And we do also have a program available for you to download, which has the biographies and stories of all of our artists and our sponsors here today. So just open that camera on your phone, as I said, and scan these codes that appear below me magically every time. As an added incentive to donate and support to us today, we have a magnificent two night stay in Ireland's most magical hotel, Ashford Castle to give away. So one of you, one of our lucky audience members is gonna win this stay. You are automatically entered in the competition when you donate to us. Now there's one very exciting thing that I need to mention before we get the show on the road. In an Irish party or a gathering, you are all expected to get up out of the chairs, to dance along, clap along, sing along, whatever you wanna to do to get in the mood, to have a good time. And when there's an upbeat moment in the music and it might go from one tune to the next, you gotta go like this, okay, you ready? Woo! I know you might feel a little bit silly, okay? But let's practice together, you ready? One, two, three, woo! I'm serious, I'm not kidding. You gotta do this because their performers today don't have a physical audience with them. So we gotta help them feel the energy through our computers, our phones, or wherever you're watching us today, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get the show on the road.
Hi, my name is Emma Sullivan. I am a Shanos dancer from Connemara in Galway in the west of Ireland. Shanos dancing is one of our most beautiful living traditions here in the west. It literally means old style or old way when translated from Gaelic. It's a beautiful, free, relaxed, improvised style of traditional step dance, which is hugely popular in Connemara and also the other native speaking regions, the Gaeltok areas of the country. I've been very lucky to showcase this dance style across the globe. And I'm really delighted and honoured to join Citizens of Song in this beautiful, uplifting and joyful celebration of Irish culture and heritage. I hope you all enjoy your St. Patrick's festivities and celebrations. Banachti Fela Park or your father. Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to get to sing one of my favourite songs for you all. This is a song all about leaving home and remembering it fondly and waiting for the day that you get to return back to your loved ones. This is Caledonia. Yeah. 
that could not get any higher. They've withered now, they've gone. But I'm steady thinking my way is clear, and I know what I will do tomorrow. My hands are shaking and kisses flow, and I will disappear. Oh, let me tell you that I love you, that I think about you all the time. Hello everybody, my name is Glenn Murphy. I'm so enjoying the concert so far. I'm so happy to be in the company of so many amazing performers and I'm very grateful to Citizen of Song for having me for this concert. Um, this song that I'm going to sing for you, it's a song I've been singing for many, many years. Um, it's called Dear Harp of My Country. It's an old Thomas More melody. He wrote the melody and the lyrics, the amazing, amazing Thomas More. Um, I have just recently released this song um, as a solo single. Um, so I hope that you enjoy it and I hope you're all having a wonderful time with this concert and continue to enjoy yourselves and enjoy all things Irish. So this is Dear Harp of My Country. Dear harp of my country, in darkness I found thee. The cold chain of silence had hung o'er thee long. When proudly my own island harp I unbound thee and gave all thy chords to light, freedom and song the warm lay of love and the light no But so oft has thou echoed the deep sigh of sadness that e'en in thy mouth it will steal from thee still. Dear harp of my country, farewell to thy numbers. This sweet wreath of song is the last we shall twine. Go sleep with the sunshine of fame on thy slumbers till touched by some hand less unworthy than mine if 
is Misha Shabell Agus Banachli in the Thaler Park Uri. My name is Shabell and I'm a Shamno singer from Ireland and today I'm going to sing a song for you called Misha Era. It's a song I recorded when I was 16 years old and the composer is Patrick Cassidy, a great Irish composer. It translates into English as I am Ireland and without further ado this is Misha Era.
such wonderful, talented acts here today. And in particular, that last piece, Misha Era, which is of course the Irish for I am Ireland, leaves me wondering, what is Ireland? What makes Ireland so distinct? It is, is it our contribution to music, to sports, to culture, to business? And I did a little bit of research to find out, and apparently it's a mixture of all of the above and many more. The Good Country Index ranks Ireland as the number one most giving country in the world per capita. That says that there's no other country in the world that gives more to humanity and the world that we live in than Ireland. Fascinating. And a major factor, of course, is our huge history of emigration. Every 30 years we have exported half a million people around the world. There are 70 million, over 70 million people today who claim to be Irish descendants. Many of you watching in our audience today, I'm sure too. And with you, with them, they have brought this legacy of Irish culture and music and the arts in particular. And this allows the old Ireland to coexist with the new modern and global Ireland. And there is no more magical place in the world to experience this mixture of the old and new Ireland than Ashford Castle, an estate steeped in history dating back to 1228 in the west coast of Ireland, where one of you, a lucky audience member, will have the opportunity to stay for two nights with breakfast and an activity included. All you need to do to enter our competition is to donate and support us today through our GoFundMe or our PayPal page. We will leave the link open and live for a week after the show and on March the 27th we are going to announce the winner in another live broadcast. So make sure you donate and enter because it's a spectacular, spectacular prize. So now, why don't we take a trip and have a glimpse inside the magical place that is Ashford Castle. Good afternoon, my name is Niall Rochford, General Manager of Ashford Castle, and we're thrilled to be here with you today on St. Patrick's Day with our friends from Citizens of Song. We look forward to welcoming you to Ashford Castle in the not too distant future. Have a great day. Hi everyone, I'm James Keegan, the Creative Manager at Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance. We're delighted to be here with you today on Citizens of Song. Today you'll be seeing Michael Flatley's legendary Feet of Flame solo performed by the three current Lords of the Dance, Matt Smith, Carl Keeney and myself. I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, my name's Ava and I'm going to sing my new single, Wildflower, for you all. I hope you enjoy. Inside your garden the wildflowers grew Painted in colours, pinky, yellow and blue Falling in circles the petals flew down They jumped up the garden and danced through the town She said, I know of a place where wildflowers grow A sea of bright colours, pink, blue and yellow Gathered by children they ran to the sea Releasing wildflowers so they could be free The petals swam up to the next little town Saved by a lady who thought they might drown She said, I know of a place where wildflowers grow A sea of bright colours, pink, blue and yellow ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Like treasure they hid within an old book When one day her daughter would finally look She found the wildflowers beside them a note A poem from her mother and on it she wrote She said, I know Thank you, Gurmina Margov. Hello, my name is Aaron Heffernan and um, I'm here to read some poetry for you about Ireland uh, as someone who lives abroad from Ireland, my home country. It was beautiful to read this and it's nostalgia inducing to hear these kinds of words because I do miss Ireland. Um, I'm sure there's many people out there who do also miss it. So here it is. Ireland. I will close my eyes so I can see you well. My Ireland is windblown and damp with fog, misting around her, clinging like a lover's kiss. Ballads of sorrow chill the air, ghosting about the cliffs as they stare out to sea silent and stonily, like skyscrapers staring upon the Atlantic. My Ireland is wild, winding, green, overgrown roads that salt your lips and freckle your face. It's the rain, humidity, and green colours that fell the wind like a symphony under the sky. My Ireland is the thought of being in a place and missing it all at once. A place where the warmth of the people make up for the lack of sunshine. It's the land of great stories and even better storytellers. This is our land, your land, Ireland. Welcome. Hi everybody, 
Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. And um, I'm so delighted to be here to celebrate with you all and share some of my music with you today. Um, So my name is Siobhan O'Donnell. I am from County Sligo in the west of Ireland. And I'm going to perform a piece of lilting, um, which is a type of Irish mouth music, um, a way that past generations have um, passed on tunes um, and songs. So I would have learned this for art Celtic form from my father, Colm. And um, he would have, any of the tunes that I would play, he has taught them to me through this type of uh, mouth music. So there's lots of different countries out there that has their own version of mouth music. And the Scots have Cantalock. I know that they um, there's similar in Nova Scotia and parts of northern Spain as well. So it's very interesting to look into it if you're, if you're looking for something to look up. Um, so thanks to Citizens of Song for inviting me here to perform for you. So I'm going to also play the bar on as well for you. Um, and I hope you enjoy this performance. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a jig called The Hag and the Churn. And we're going to go into a reel after that called Within a Mile of Dublin. Da- Thank you all very, very much. That was so much fun and it's great to perform for you here today. Hope you enjoy the rest of the concert and a very happy St. Patrick's Day to you all again. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Happy St. Patrick's Day and I hope you're all enjoying this wonderful concert full of Irish music and song by fabulous Irish musicians and singers. My name is Claudia Boyle and this is my sister Emily Boyle. I'm very lucky to have a sister who's also a pianist, who's also in my COVID bubble. So we've been able to actually make music throughout the past year in lockdown. So it's been really, really nice. The next song I'm going to sing is from an Irish opera. 
Now the opera is called The Bohemian Girl and the composer is Michael William Buff. Now you may recognise this piece of music because it's been covered and performed by so many different musicians from different genres throughout the years because it's noted for its beauty, its elegance and its Irish nostalgia. It's the beautiful I dreamt I dwelt in marble halls. Welcome to St. Joseph's Church, Glastool, here in lovely, sunny South County Dublin. I'm seated at the church's beautiful pipe organ, built in 1896. Organs have been part of Irish culture for well over a thousand years, and of course have been central to worship in churches, but also in musical life in general. So given that March is the month of St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to play an Irish tune, my own arrangement of an Irish tune, The Lark in the Clear Air. And following a couple of verses of that, I'll go into a very short but lively improvisation just to lift the roof so you can hear the full majesty of this magnificent organ.
Enjoy. thinking who was St. Patrick and believe me you're not the only one. In fact there's very little known about this historical and colossal historical figure in fact. We do know that he was born in approximately the year 325 AD in what was back then Roman Britain. He was in fact a Roman citizen of course. The story goes that he was then enslaved and taken to Ireland However, he was later released or he escaped and he fled the island of Ireland. He then became a priest and returned back to Ireland where he was responsible for converting much of the Druid culture to Christianity. However, it's probable that Christianity did already exist at that time as there had been an earlier mission by the clergyman Palladius. Today, most importantly, St. Patrick is a cultural symbol and a representation of our very Irish values of inclusivity and solidarity and coming together from all across the world to celebrate this. In fact, I am not physically in Ireland today. My heart is in Ireland, though I am physically in Medellin in Colombia, South America, along with the rest of the Citizens of Song technical team. And thanks to modern technology, we're able to celebrate Ireland with you today. And also thanks to the support from our generous friends and sponsors. Thank you to Smurfit Kappa, to Culture Ireland, to Ashford Castle, and to our fantastic allies in Bogota, Colombia, the Embassy of Ireland to Colombia and Panama. 
And now I would like to invite the ambassador, Alison Milton, to our virtual stage for a few words. After the ambassador's speech, we will then be sung into the interval with a hymn to St. Patrick. We will have a short interval for you to fresh, freshen up, grab a drink or stretch your legs, and we will see you back for another very exciting second half of our Citizens of Song show. See you then. Hello there from the Embassy of Ireland in Bogota. My name is Alison Milton, the Ambassador of Ireland to Colombia, and we're delighted to be sponsoring this St. Patrick's Day edition of the Citizens of Song concert series. It's wonderful to see so many fantastic Irish acts coming to us from all corners of the globe. So important in a year where so many of us can't be together to celebrate our national day in person. And I feel so proud to be Irish when I see the enormous talent on, on display. Huge congratulations to Rebecca, to the Citizens of Song team and to all the artists involved. Un saludo muy especial a todas las personas que están viendo este concierto desde Colombia y Panamá. Y espero que estén disfrutando la música irlandesa. Enjoy the rest of the show and a muy feliz día de San Patricio to you all. Slán agus banacht. Good evening. The Pastoral Choir are delighted to be part of this brilliant concert and we would like to wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. We will now perform the much-loved hymn Hail Gloria St. Patrick by David Mooney. The choir has existed for over 100 years and this is our online concert debut. We hope you enjoy the performance.
dear audience, please take your seats as the second half of tonight's show is about to begin. Thanks very much, folks, and uh, welcome back to the second half of the Citizens of Song show. And uh, that was myself, Stephen Doherty, joined by David Ducey and Patrick Ducey on fiddle and guitar, playing a set of tunes for you called the Jolly Tinker set. So we hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we do hope you enjoyed the rest of the night. We are delighted to be part of it. Thank you very much, and uh, enjoy. A fantastic and exciting way to start our second half of the show. Thanks a million to the guys in the beautiful west coast of Ireland and to our dear friend Stephen Doherty, who is also the composer and producer of the music that we have been listening to today at the beginning of our show in the interval and we'll hear a little bit more at the end. Thank you Stevie for your support. And speaking of support, that is exactly what our next act is doing. They are a group of the world's finest female dancers, world champion leading ladies, who last year found themselves without work, of course their industry decimated. So they have come together virtually to create fresh and really exciting new choreography, mixing traditional Irish dance with a bit of a new twist. This is choreographed by Lauren Smith with music by Project Smock. I now introduce the ladies of Elevate.
Hi everyone, George Hutton here and I'm absolutely thrilled to be part of this very special St. Patrick's Day performance as part of the Citizens of Song concert series. The song that I will be performing is a very well-known piece written by the brilliant Irish composer Brendan Graham. This is the beautiful You Raise Me Up.
Hi everyone, my name is Bernie Sherlock and I'm the conductor of New Dublin Voices and we're very happy to be joining you today. What you're going to hear is the world premiere of Patrick Havner's famous poem on Raglan Road in a beautiful new version for choir by the Irish arranger Owen Conway. Kavanagh wrote the poem in 1946 when he was living in Dublin on quiet Raglan Road. There, one of his neighbours was a young woman, a medical student from Kerry, in whom Kavanagh became very interested as he watched her walking to and from the university each day on Raglan Road. Alas, she was only interested in friendship. As Kavanagh says near the end, on a quiet street where old ghosts meet, I see her walking now away from me so hurriedly. The little poem became very famous when it was turned into a song by the Dubliners in 1971. Kavanagh and the Dubliners Luke Kelly were having a pint in the Bailey in Dublin and came up with the idea of setting the poem to the old traditional Irish song Fáinne Gael an Lé, known in English as The Dawning of the Day on Raglan Road, arranged by Owen Conway. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hey everyone, my name is Emmett Cahill. I'm chatting to you from Mullingar, County Westmeath in the Midlands of Ireland and I'm thrilled to be part of today's concert. I hope you're all enjoying the wonderful talent on display and I would be delighted to sing for you the song of all Irish songs. This is the very beautiful Danny Boy. Are lucky enough to have visited Ireland and spent time there physically. Others might still be planning and dreaming for that opportunity in the future. I really hope that you all get to experience Ireland physically, especially when the pan pandemic is over. However, until then, we can rely on books and on musical concerts and movies and things like that to connect us with the beautiful island of Ireland. 
Thank you to modern technology for allowing us to connect in this virtual SETI setting, my apologies, but also thank you to our sponsors who make today a reality, to Culture Ireland, Ashford Castle, to the Embassy of Ireland in Colombia and Panama, and to Smurfit Kappa, which is the epitome of a global Irish success story. So we will now hear a short presentation from them. Look beyond the surface. To discover more, look within. Inside Smurfit Kappa, you'll find a substantial company dedicated to excellence in paper packaging solutions. Inside Smurfit Kappa, our functions are integrated to maximize customer satisfaction. We develop consumer-based insights and package every sector of the real economy. We challenge the boundaries of science in many areas. Inside Smurfit Kappa, sustainability in every fiber, as exemplified by our proven and verifiable chain of custody. Inside new markets, we grow and add new people with fresh enthusiasm. Within our sales force, a determination to understand the real needs of a client. Within Smurfit Kappa, almost 700 designers with over 6,000 design solutions available to them. Inside the retail space, here we maximize brand impact at the point of purchase. Inside our global network of experience centers, we use the very latest technology and thinking to develop packaging solutions that deliver business success. We work in many worlds, but we approach each one knowing it's our client's name and reputation that we protect. We open the future by understanding. It's what's inside that counts. Now we are going to travel to the northern part of Ireland where the Ulster Youth Orchestra are going to perform a magnificent arrangement of a traditional Irish tune named after Brian Boru, who of course is Ireland's most famous high king.
Hi everyone, Emer here from Affinity. We're so thrilled to be part of this Citizens of Song concert and we wanted to take this opportunity to wish you a very happy March and in particular a very happy St. Patrick's Day. The song we've chosen to sing is Falling Slowly from the movie and the Broadway hit uh, Once, where two people fall in love over what we call in Ireland a hoover. So it's very, very, very romantic. We hope you enjoy.
evening. On behalf of the St. Mary's Pro Cathedral Choir, I would like to wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day from Dublin. We are delighted to be a part of the Citizens of Song concert and will now perform Down by the Sally Gardens, arranged by Owen Conway. The words are by Ireland's most famous poet, W.B. Yeats. We hope you enjoy the performance. Down by the sunny gardens, my love and I did meet. She passed the sunny gardens, with little snow-white feet. She Hello everyone, my name is Dara Healy and I'm a member of the band Boxing Banjo. Uh, I'm coming to you today from the lovely County Mayo in the west coast of Ireland. We are absolutely thrilled to be involved in this Citizens of Song concert for St. Patrick's Day and what a wonderful, wonderful event that it is. I'm going to be joined now by my bandmates and we are going to sing an old Irish folk song entitled The Star of the County Down. Now, this song tells the story of a young Irish man who was out walking one day and falls in love at first sight with a beautiful young Irish lady. So we really do hope that you enjoy. As she passed me by She looked so sweet From her two bare feet To the sheen of her nut brown hair Such a coaxing out Sure I shook myself For to see what was really there From Bantry Bay Down to Derry Cay To go with the dog to town No one way I seen Like the fair Colleen That I made in the county down As she hunted Bed sugar shook me head and I looked with the feeling rare And I says I to the passerby by used the bird with the lovely air He smiled at me and he says to me she's the jewel of Ireland's crown She is Rosie McCann from the banks of the band She's the star of the county down From Bantry Bay down to Derry Cay From go with the Dublin town like the fair Colleen that I met in the county down So 
destination they flow Only shoes shun bright and me hat can fly I get a smile from the road No pipe bath, smoke, no horse I know Till we plow to rush me round And by my sides it's the lovely bride It's the star of the county down From a pantry bay down to Derry Cay We go into Dublin town I've seen like the fair Colleen they had made in the county down From Bantry Bay down to Derry Cay From going to Dublin Town Oh, we have seen like the fair Colleen that I made in the county down I hope you are enjoying this spectacular show as much as I am. For those of you who might have missed our first act, we have a really spectacular prize on offer here today for everyone who supports us and donates through our GoFundMe link, which is here. Just scan it on your phone and support us today to be automatically entered in to a competition to win a two night stay in Ireland's most magical hotel, Ashford Castle. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Michael Dawson and I'm going to be joined by Sarah May Rogers and Donald Kearney in just a second. We've written this song called Clonard Street, which is about an event that happened in 1920 in Balbriggan, Dublin, where the Irish Institute of Music and Song is housed. That night, the Black and Tans came to Balbriggan and sacked the town, and this song is about the events that happened that night. We're delighted to be part of this event and we hope you enjoy.
Good evening. My name is Leanne Fitzgerald and I'm delighted to be here as part of the Citizens of Song St. Patrick's Day concert. The song I'm going to perform for you tonight is by Carl Jenkins with words by W.B. Yeats. Yeats is one of Ireland's most celebrated poets and I'm delighted to be able to present this for you tonight. The poem is called He Wishes for the Cloths of Heaven and the words are Had I the heavens embroidered cloths Enwrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark cloths, and the light and the half light. I would spread the cloths under your feet, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. It's quite a sad poem. And I really, really enjoy the way that Carol Jenkins has set the poem and he really brings all those colours and light out in his music. Had I the heaven 
Martin here in Dublin and I'm joined by the wonderful guitar player Drajan Derek who's over in Croatia Hi, and is going to be beamed in somehow with the magic of technology. Mm. So we're going to celebrate the cross-cultural um, aspect of Irish music with this wee tune and this is one that comes from Brazil, it's called Tico Tico and it's become a big favourite with accordion players particularly in Ireland over the last couple of years so of course we play it as a reel and uh, so I thought this might be a fun one for you all to enjoy on the day that's in it. So this is Tico Tico. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I wrote P.A. Yesu in 1998 in memory of those who died in the Oma bombing. Tragedy has always been part of the history of Ireland, north and south. But to this year, tragedy has struck the whole world. I'd like to dedicate this piece to all of you out there who have had a year which is like no other we have ever had. And we all look forward to the future.
Oh, dear friends, our citizens of song audience, what an emotional roller coaster we have shared today on our journey to Ireland. Thank you for coming with us. I certainly feel like I have visited Ireland, especially because the heavens have opened up behind me. Thunder, rain and lightning in that very typical Irish way. I hope you all feel like you are a little bit Irish today as well. And to our magnificent performers, thank you for sharing your talents with us today. What a spectacular lineup you are, and it has been such an authentic Irish experience for us all. To our global Irish family, you, our audience members, I hope that you enjoyed the show as much as I have. What a day. Please like us on social media so that you can find out about our upcoming events. Citizens of Song travels across the world to new destinations and new concerts each time. So we've got a lot more to come. Don't forget to donate, support our efforts here today by clicking on this link here, scanning the, the code in your phone, and you will automatically be entered into that incredible giveaway to win a two-night stay with the magnificent Ashford Castle in the west coast of Ireland. So that's it. We've come to the time of the night where we say our goodbyes, but no Irish goodbye would be a real Irish goodbye without a sing song. So now is the time when you gotta get up out of those seats, practice that cheering that I taught you earlier on at the beginning of the day, and sing along and dance along and clap along with our final act, which is Jiggy. They are gonna show us a true Irish Kaylee with friends that they have invited to partake from all across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we'll see you soon. Take care, and again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Bye-bye, ciao, salon, happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the conference.